Okay. Yeah. Okay. These next three items are three separate cases, but pertain to the same project. This first one is a rezoning of property that is already in the Hayhower city limits. It consists of 1.4, excuse me, 1.54 acres um, to be rezoned from R10 to RP. Um, this is on the western side of the city. It is stretches between West Main Street on the north and West Park Street on the south. Um, the property is currently vacant. Um, there's a residential use to the east. Um, that same neighborhood that we were talking about in the last item is to the southeast. Um, directly to the south and southwest is the Public Housing Authority for Kekaira. To the west is vacant land zone commercial. That is the subject of the next agenda items. And then to the north, it's not shown on the aerial because this is from nine years ago, uh, but it is now a shopping center that includes a Harvey's grocery store. And this lines up, this part of the property right here lines up with the back driveway um, into the truck loading area of Harvey's. Um, there's the proposed site plan, which includes this subject property plus the property to the west. Um, the proposal is to develop all of this for multi-family use. You see pictures of how the property currently looks. This is the Harvey's that's across the street to the north, the back side of it. And then the house that is on West Main Street, uh, which is owned by the property owner that is, um, has this under contract to sell this to the applicant. Um, there's a notice for that property. Comprehensive plan wise, um, this is in the western part of the city. It's bordered by a community activity center, hence the commercial zoning that's there. Um, and in your packet, not on the screen, but in your packet is a site plan. What I passed out to you has an 11 by 17 version of it. It's a little bit uh, easier to read. And also included in that handout is something that we mentioned in our work session but didn't go into great detail, is that the northern part of this property is from what we call the Ahara Gateway Overlay District, which has special rules for setbacks and architecture and things of that nature. And as a point of note, that entire property to the west is in the overlay district. But the southern two parcels of this case are not. Um, so they would not be subject to those rules, at least that part of the property. Um, but that's more of a development consideration. Um, be glad to answer any questions you may have on this particular one. Uh, like we talked about at the work session, these are three separate cases. Um, your recommendation vote needs to be separate for each one. But this one is just the rezoning of property that is already in the Howard City Limits. Very well, thank you, Matt. Uh, any questions for the commissioners for staff? Okay, then, if being none, I'll turn it over to the public forum of this. Is there anyone here wishing to speak in favor of this request? Please come forward, state your name. Good evening, uh, Commissioners. My name is Josh Thompson. I'm here representing uh, the village on Park. I guess I'll, I know that we're only talking about this one, one particular parcel right now, but. Uh, hard to break it out. Yeah, it's hard to break it out, so I'll just go ahead and talk about the entire uh, development. Um, the development will be known as the Village on Park. It will be a 64-unit apartment community and will consist of one, two, and three-bedroom apartment homes. Uh, the development will have access to both Park and Main Street. The community will provide our residents with a community center that's equipped with gathering areas for community events, a business uh, and computer center, a fitness center, um, our exterior amenities, will include a covered picnic pavilion with grilling stations and a place. <coughs> uh, all the buildings will be constructed of brick and hardy plank siding only, uh, no vinyl siding can be used. Furthermore, upgraded building materials, equipment, uh, construction techniques and appliances will, will be installed to ensure for maximum efficiency and thus ensuring that our residents' utility bills are lowered. So the property has a full-time property manager and maintenance person on site to ensure that the residents and the property's needs are met timely. Uh, lastly, we'll also have employ a third party landscape company uh, to ensure that our property is kept in pristine condition year round. Uh, from a land use perspective, obviously 
we, we believe it fits in well um, with surrounding uses, including single family and multifamily, and we're excited about our development. I'll answer any questions you have at this time. Any questions from the commission? And just out of curiosity, to clear up the point, people say government subsidized. My understanding is that the, 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 the rents are regulated but not subsidized. Is that correct? That, that's correct. So, you know, we'll apply to the Georgia Department of Community Affairs for tax credits mm -hmm. for this development. And assuming that, that the financing is successful, uh, in return for accepting this credit, the development uh, agrees to restrict the rents that 60% of area median income. Um, and so it, it's not um, necessary, it's, it's not a situation where um, there's project based rental assistance, so if someone moves there, um, the, the government pays for their rent. It's just in turn for accepting the tax credits, we agree to rent to folks um, who have to who earn 60% of less on area, area, of area median income. And they still have to pay rent because we still have to pay debt and, and the like, just like the <coughs> apartment community. Uh, and like the, you know, another apartment, a couple of other apartment communities in Hay High or Gateway, um, with, which, which are doing well from our market research and, and they appear to be in good condition. What is the split? How many will be the, the mean income and how many will be full? Rental charges on that, or is, that, or, or is there a difference in there? Um, of, of the 64 units, uh, roughly 20 will be market rate, so there will be no rental restrictions on those at all, and no income restrictions. So it's a mixed income community, to your point. Yeah, okay. Any other questions of this? Sir, Pastor? I have one. Sir? Thank you very much. Anyone else would like to speak in favor of this request? Anyone like to, anyone else like to speak in favor? Very well. Now we go to anyone that would, that would like to speak against this request. Anyone that would like to speak against this request, please come forward. Okay. Seeing none. I uh, turn it back over to the board for... That's one question of staff. Yes, sir. Go right. Right. Is, there, is there been a change on the site plan as far as ingress and egress since last week? Since the work session, yes. Uh, what I emailed you on Friday was the revised site plan, which is a, the black and white version of the handout we received tonight. Oh, uh, what they have done is connected their parking area back to uh, West Park Street, They've increased from 48 units to 64, which is the maximum allowable. Um, and that has also led to part of the building to only three floors. And that's reflected on that building right there. It's there. Um, there is no prohibition to connecting their parking lot to both streets. It's actually a good idea from an access standpoint. Um, personally, I would not have cut, connected those straight through. But again, that's allowed. It's actually a good thing for the local residents of the area. If they want to get to the shopping complex to the north, they don't have to go around the block. They could cut through here. Um, I would have designed it differently, but it was certainly not. Um, but what's important is that northern entrance off of West Main lines up with a proposed future road, which is currently a side driveway to the Harvest Complex. So that part is good. Good. Any other questions from the Commission? Alright, then that means we're going to open up the ready for a, uh, uh, a vote. Anyone have anything else to say or do we want to go ahead and make a vote? Okay. Uh, all right. Maybe we uh, recommend approval to the AR City Council of the uh, request, finding it uh, consistent with the comprehensive plan and the standards for exercise zoning power. Second. Motion to approve the request. And a second. All in favor, raise your right hand. Anyone opposed, like sign. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Okay, Matt. Keep on keeping on.